Hey, what's up, guys? It's Shells here with the Jasmine Brand. I am here with the creator. Can I say pro producer? Yes, executive producer, creator, um, often writer, often director. This season, also co-star. Okay. But 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 really, too much. It's too much. I don't know why they let me. I'm like, okay, should. wait, because that kind of is a spoiler a little bit. Scoop. A little Team bit. Team report. Uh, uh, yeah. But I mean, I, okay. but we, we can get <laughs> we'll, to that. We'll talk about that in a second. We have lots to discuss. Now. <laughs> oh my God, your character. Let us know. Give your people the, your character name and everything like that. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Hi. So well, I fix you. Thank you, James. <laughs> <laughs> get there together. Hi, I'm Jody Lynn O'Keefe, and I play Lionel Davenport on Hit the Floor. And your character, I mean, it's, she stresses me out every, right? every time I'm looking at I'm like this. I'm like, oh my God. And it, I'm stressed not, out. And not, you know, in a, in a in a terrible way, but I'm saying, I'm like, every time I see her, I'm like, oh my God, this bitch is coming. Right? I'm like, oh what my God, like, what is she going to do now? So would you say your character, is she like a villain, would you say? Or how would you describe her? Because I don't want to say villain, but she I don't is... think she's a villain. I think she is a powerful woman, and okay. I think she's a little misunderstood, and I think Lionel has finally come to terms with looking out for herself. Got it. So she's just trying to do her at this point. She kind of has yeah. that do what I have to do type of... Yeah, she's not going to try to hurt anybody. She's but not. she has to. But if you cross her, <laughs> and if she has to, and if it was your turn to get hurt, right. then, uh, then look out. Well, right. I think I think that's a great way of saying. I think she's she's a strong woman, and I also think she's really loyal to mm -hmm. the people who are loyal to her. Yes. Truth. So okay. I mean, Lionel and Jude are to me one of the best relationships mm -hmm. on the show, mm -hmm. and it's very platonic, and it's incredible. I don't think she's really had anyone who's been loyal to her before. No, she was kind of so, loner. A little yeah. Bit. So I think this is a whole new world for her, and she's really forging these friendships and these relationships and this is feeling like a home to her mm -hmm. she's accidentally gotten involved in the world of the devils and then mm -hmm. it's stuck now what can we expect to see different from her this season lionel is single this season okay she's single, not ready to married mingle. she's not divorced she's not getting a divorce she's not <laughs> trying to be with anybody she's single she's, so she's trying, trying to be trying with to everybody be with she's, like, right here. she's like i'm here for the fun and that's what james told me when we started this year he said great news you're single, it's about to get real. And yeah. I said, how real? And he said, very, very real. And I said, okay. <laughs> now, it's I, gonna be great television, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I do wanna ask you, it is Hit the Floors, so it's all about the dance mm -hmm. and the glam. What is, you, both you guys, what's your go-to dance move? Do you wanna take it or do I take it? Uh, <laughs> I'm from Jersey. Okay. And I'm a 90s kid. Okay. Well, when I was old enough to yes. love music, so, my go-to dance movie has always been The Running Man because that's where nice. I'm from. Nice. The Don't Running encourage Man. that. But that was, was a bad. big deal <laughs> when, I was, <laughs> when like, I was in like my teenage years. That was a big deal. If you, you could do it, The Running Man now, like people are like, Shh, you know who man. was big on that? It was very Vanilla Ice, like the stop uh, collaborate. Like, and he was like really. I love Vanilla Ice. You do? I did at the time. You did? Yeah. Oh, MC Hammer for life. Oh, yeah. I can't touch I this. I like this yeah. conversation okay. has gone into it. <laughs> what's your go-to dance move? It, it, if, if, I'm, if I'm at a club, it's just this, whatever the song is. Okay. I, will, I, I remember I went to school in Syracuse, okay. um, and there was like one gay club in okay. all of Syracuse mm -hmm. eventually, and there was this really <laughs> stylish lesbian okay. who had this like I don't know what like she had like a suit on I don't know what she, what her life was like whatever giving us Ellen vibes a little bit and, like a lot of it okay. and so <laughs> she I remember I was very shy to dance mm -hmm. I didn't want to dance and then I would see her dance and I then like years later I realized I actually like picked up her it was just cra I was, what was I'm the like, move? I, it, yeah, was, was, it, was, it, it was with the dance. It was just like she had this. It was like she was just like okay. so cool. When it comes to the show, <laughs> yes. I'm not saying I did as cool as you. Okay. When it comes to the show, every time we have a dance number, mm -hmm. I love, and the dancers have fun too, going like, which one is he going to choose? I always pick one move or one thing from the dance, and okay. then the girls all teach me how to do it. And I always look like that so weird little... uncle who's like trying to do the dance move. <laughs> so, uh, what is it, guys? What's the call now? What are the kids doing these I'm days? telling you, there, there's, some, there's certain things that are that are easier than others. Yeah. I remember we had uh, an episode where they did Bollyhood, mm -hmm. and there's this whole thing where like, can you tie the bow ties? You, like, it was like all this hand move, and that's okay. the one that I was like, I love, and I shouldn't have said it. Right. And suddenly I was just like, mm -hmm. it was rough. You're like a cheer mom, you're like an right. audience. He like, did doing really good though. He, he, when I, he I feel like you're like a great dancer. 
I, I, I can't pick up choreography. Okay. At a club, you will be dancing together. It'd be great. Yes. If 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 you're like and one two and do that again, I'd be like, oh, good luck. No, 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 no. <laughs> good luck. Now I did see recently. Well, I don't know if it's recently, but on your Instagram, you did share the first script or the original script. Oh yeah. And yeah. I loved it. It was like such an inspirational pose just to see how the show has gone from there to to it's gone now. So when you wrote that first script, what was your vision for the show, and did you expect it to just blow up how it did? My my vision for the show has never changed. Okay. Um, I I had certain influences that um, have remained. Like I loved when they did like the group numbers on So You Think You Can Dance. Mm -hmm. I loved the movie Black Swan, mm -hmm. which was such a great two piece for women, where it was just like one of the, one was like wanting that mm -hmm. power. One was like, what am I going to do to like hold on to that mm -hmm. power? And stab themselves in the face with scissors. It was oh a rough gosh, movie. Yeah. But my point is, we don't my do point that. reminds me. Yeah. There are no scissors yeah. in faces There's this no year. Yeah. That's a spoiler. Um, but, but just a show about like badass women who want what they want yeah. and will do what they need to do to get it. And uh, the show has stayed that way. Yeah. As far as the success of the show, I've kind of stopped predicting it, to be honest. Okay. Like, I... I, I know what it is, I love it, and I make sure that it's that it's some version mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. um, but the fans tell us how we're doing. Like, yeah. the, like our ratings in our first season, we debuted great, yeah. but our numbers kept going up because the fans kept mm -hmm. finding and telling their friends mm -hmm. to come watch. Second season did better than the first, and they had a whole campaign yeah. to, to have us come back and we're back on BET, which we couldn't be more that excited about. So, so it, you know, feels right. Yeah. What the thing about that post that you're talking about, where I did the original mm -hmm. cover of the script, um, that was my way of showing how much work goes into something mm -hmm. like this. I think it's it's easy. When I was young and I was a huge TV fan, I would look at shows and go, "Oh, it's so fabulous, so yeah. wonderful." It, yeah. It's easy. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that go oh, into yeah. it, and people who come along who you like come into your life and work their own blood, sweat, and mm -hmm. tears. And, and so that was kind of like a little bit of a valentine to the show, okay. kind of, and to hard work. I loved it. It was, it was a very inspirational part. I was like, oh my God, like, look at this original script. I wanted you to like, flip the page, and I'm like, okay, well, it was T originally, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it was just great. Now, there are some new faces, so yes. we're excited to see. So how is the dynamic going to be with you and some of the new co-stars? Oh. <laughs> There's so many things I want to say that, that you I'm not can allowed say, to say that you that can't James say. Won't let me say. Okay. I love the new cast so much. Okay. I can't wait for you to get to meet them yeah, on screen, not in person, but to watch them. Okay. Because now you, you love the new you cast, can't but take how does their eyes off of them? <laughs> how does Lionel love the yes. new cast? <laughs> Lionel. Okay. Loves the new cast. Okay. She loves oh. them. She loves them so good. I, well, I feel like I can kind of gauge my. Oh. I, wanna, I feel like I kind of know where you're going because yeah, I've seen, seen the, the super, super trailer. trailer. Mm. Then you kind of know where it's going. And speaking of the super trailer, yes, ma'am. Now I did just speak um, with Ju. I mm -hmm. call him Ju. Sorry, I keep, I'll call the characters well, with that okay, character. You can. And there is a, a scene that's a little steamy with him, mm -hmm. uh, which I love, and I had the conversation with them. I think I said it's important that we've seen that this season. How, how important was it for you to add that element in there um, with Jude in, um, you know, the steamy scene? Um, I think that on this show, everyone should get a fair shake, yes. whether you're male, female, wh whatever you bring to the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. And so our sex scenes, for instance, mm -hmm. you're talking about sex scenes, yes. are as hot for anyone. I mean, yes. if you've seen the super trailer, they're as hot for anyone yes. as anyone else. Yes. There are some... Here's some scoop. Yes, there, T report. <laughs> there are certainly things that we could not put in the super trailer mm. because they were big spoilers. Okay. But there's a lot more sex than you even <laughs> see. In it's the like, listen, trailer. there's more there's, sex. That's the spoiler. There's more so. sex than I am comfortable with. Oh my god. There's more sex across the board. So okay. so basically I think it is important in general representation yes. across the board. Yes. So whether they're sex scenes, whether they're romantic highs or romantic lows, identity crises, um, people that. who, um, I think everyone deserves to be seen. Mm -hmm. This season we had, uh, when we were auditioning Devil Girls this season, mm -hmm. we had a young woman come in who auditioned in a wheelchair. Oh, and she blew that. us away. Her I choreography was like, she had some of those moves down better than, so I was inspired by her mm -hmm. and she is going to appear this season. Oh, I love that. And we have another girl who is, uh, like curvier than you mm -hmm. might like mm -hmm. 
and sh they come in and they kill it. And and when you're a kid mm -hmm. who doesn't see yourself on mm -hmm. TV or doesn't see yourself as a full person, mm -hmm. you need to. Yeah. Because you're part of life and you're part of. Yeah. You need to see that. So I'm happy that we have an opportunity I to, love that. to do that. I love that. So like you said, representation matters. So now you see it, it's even more relatable. Like that girl looks like me, or that's my current situation, there are or that's some, what's going on. There are people today with this crappy political climate oh that God. we're in who feel like they don't have a voice and mm -hmm. shouldn't even try. Mm -hmm. And this is a show where like glorious, gorgeous creatures who have wealth and money will get married in Malibu and it doesn't matter who you are. I love that. And everyone has a voice and a place. And if seeing someone on the show helps them see that, like when I saw like my first gay character on TV when mm -hmm. I was younger, it's deep. Yeah. It's it makes you it's weird to think, well, why couldn't you just be like, I'll be the first? Because sometimes you need to see someone yeah. else that you even that even enters your brain. So that's and I love a long that. answer to a short question. I but. know I love it, but I think that's what's great about Hit the Floor, especially this upcoming season that we're gonna see more representation. Now we do have to wrap it up, our time is short lived, but I do have is a that with those chimes. Yeah. It's, it's time. It's time. <laughs> it's the chimes that of the fairy chime. dust chimes. That yeah, was really nice. That was actually the chimes of Armageddon. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> oh. alone. <laughs> Let's go, guys. It's getting scary in here. <laughs> but I do have a one-liner for you, so finish okay. the sentence for me. When I hit the floor, I... When I hit the floor, I hit it hard. Ooh, I like that. Uh, when I hit the floor, I apologize to everyone if they can see that, <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. It's Thank July you. 10th, yes, Tuesday. Please, guys, it's going to be so awesome. Thank you so much for coming and talking to us. Thank, Thank you, you very we much. We look forward to looking into it. Thank you. Appreciate it.